Hi, we're back on Smells Like 90s Rock, and Sheila made it right under the wire. I did, like, over the wire, actually. Whoa. 30 minutes in, and... Well, I mean, you didn't really miss anything, because I, mean, I just got the show going, and we started playing music, so it wasn't like you missed a whole lot. So, th I mean, this is this is the first break, so it's fine. Everything's everything's good. In my defense, I was landlocked in halls. Yeah. No, I, because I, we, we, you know, our friend Stephanie was here last week. She lives in the halls. And I, and yeah, if you're in a rush to get anywhere from there, it's you just hell. You got to allow time because, yeah, you, there is no easy way to get to the interstate. You can either take Powell, which is a long route, mm -hmm. and, or you could, t where the route that everybody usually takes is, is on Broadway. Get, yeah, take I took Broadway, Broadway 40, yeah. and get back on there. Or you could take Broadway all the way down to South Knoxville, and then it just takes you right down there. But that's still. Mm -hmm. A few miles to get through. So, so yeah. My bad. Even no. though I'm like this old, I still can't tell time. No, so. it's fine. Everything's great. We 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 are good. We just we got through a few songs and now here we are. Here we are. We made it. Uh DJ Pork is out tonight. I said that earlier. He's out sick, I guess. Is that his excuse? Yeah, he's feeling under the weather, I think was his exact words. His, I've never seen someone actually... His, his exact words were, I'm <laughs> under the weather. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone use those words. No, I, yeah, I'd leave it to him to use the weird words. Exactly. Hey, I'm under the weather. Which is probably like code for diarrhea. Probably. Which is what I'm going to go with because like he's not here to defend himself. R right, diarrhea or tuberculosis. That's yeah? one of my... That's either one. Either one. I don't know which point. one it is, but it's one of them. It's one of them. It's one of them. Um... No, but, uh, you know, he's out. That's fine. I, I'm still trying to come down from the Disney special last week. Mm. I, you know, put it up on uh, Mixcloud there on, on last weekend, and uh, it sounded beautiful. It sounded great. Um, and reliving all the segments from last week, and uh, we got dark. <laughs> We always get dark. But we got, seemed like we got extra dark on last week's episode. And was, it's it, to balance out the Disney. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, it, it got so dark from, from what, you know, I mean, granted, we do get dark, but I mean, on, on the Disney special of all episodes, we got dark. We're dark folks. It's funny, though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, like it, didn't, it didn't spare on laughs. I mean, there were, there were plenty of those. Uh, but it was really funny. But no, yeah, we got we got real dark real fast through most of the episode. But that's okay. That sounds about right. Uh, no, that sounds about right. Does. Uh, but we did something fun last night. We watched yes. a bad movie. Let's book it. This is starting to smell just like yours. That's what I'm saying. There's something about the cat pee microphones you know that what? you just I'm, can't escape. That's right. I'm just At gonna... least you can flip yours. Yeah, you can't flip yours. I'm landlocked, which is why I'm always like really far back from my right. microphone. Right, but yours is metal. It doesn't really hold in anything. It like, does though, because like, like this. Really? People, they don't use the microphone properly. It's like they shove it in their mouth without brushing their teeth for eight days. <laughs> Yo, oh God, and yes. And then there's like this smells fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. Everything's great. Don't even worry about it. I mean, yeah, come in here with their smoke breath and their and their it's just archaic alcohol breath. It's just gross. I mean, there's like pop, pop in a mint every once in a while. Here. Yeah, it's now, like dust. Blem. I don't know. It's gross. So you, I, I stay back. Yeah. Usually mine's not too bad, but to not like I I had to move it. Otherwise, I was going to vomit. Like I couldn't. Is it cat pee? I not cat pee. I don't really know what to exp how to explain it. It's just death, and I don't like it. And I and it needs to stay up there for the remainder of the show uh, because that's just gross. So yeah, I'll be I'll be free free balling it in terms of a mic tonight. Yes, I think that we should all free ball it all the time. <laughs> yes, you know. You know, at the other radio station I work, we don't have these. We don't use those at all. Because as radio professionals, we should be taught how to pop our peas. That's right. Don't don't do none of that. Like on like <laughs> when we when I used the podcast microphone, I didn't use it last night because we were all so far from the mm -hmm. microphone, so I didn't use it. But when I but when I use it, I do use one of these because I'm not in like a soundproof area at my apartment. So that makes sense. so even the slightest peas or bees still pop real loud and it, it distorts the microphone. So I use that, and it does help a lot. But, yeah, in a studio, you're good. You don't need one. Yeah. These are not needed. You know, not needed. We I'm, know what we're doing. I'm, I'm good with this, uh, with this but mic on its device on. here's the thing, then. I think if they don't have that, people will then start putting the microphones in their mouth. <laughs> That's true. And then the mic, will, the mic will smell horrible, and then where will we be? Yeah, and then we'll just have we that litter box mic. We can't broadcast anymore because the mics are so bad. Yeah, there's, like, no way to escape it. No, there's not. It's horrible. What was I talking about before I got off I, on the microphone I tangent? I don't know. Spookies? Yeah. Spookies. So we watched a horrible horror film called Spookies. And if you've ever seen the movie Spookies, 
Give us a call now, 974-2535, and tell us how it changed your life. Because <laughs> it changed ours, but not in a good way. It made total sense when I went back no. and I read that it had been two different movies with two different casts. Oh, well, that, that makes sense. Together. Yeah. Then the whole movie did make sense because yeah. it was so disjointed. Yeah. Because it wasn't one movie. It wasn't. No, it make it, that does make sense. And it shows that it was mm-hmm. two different movies, and it doesn't make sense because of that. Uh, but yeah, it's like, because they didn't, they didn't know, they didn't know how to make this movie. They came up with an idea and then they didn't know how to execute it. No. So they executed it one and they were like, you know what? We can make another movie out of that. So they <laughs> threw in a bunch of random scenes and then none of it worked. It was like they went in with a whole lot of flash and absolutely no plot. No, exactly. Yeah. They, a whole lot of idea and, and no the, plot. the middle-aged teenagers thing that just. <laughs> one, like some of them. Well, well, none of them really could fool you, but some of them could get a pass. There was one, the dude in the suit, there was a dude in a suit in this movie. He was clearly 50. He was 50, if not pushing 60, and and was trying to get passed off as a teenager. Teenager. I mean, and he was in a suit. It was mind-boggling and irritating. Because when he first showed up, I thought that was the dad. Yeah, of like one of the th- of one of the kids. Of one of the kids, and then you find out. Have no, fun, kids. That's like somebody's boyfriend. No, yeah, he's a part of the group. He <laughs> hangs out with these kids. Maybe, maybe he should be investigated. I think so. Just, just putting it out there. They don't have to worry about it now because he's dead. He's dead. They all they died. All died. That was another thing. There was no solution to this film at all. There was no outcome whatsoever. No. This it movie. was basically absolutely pointless.